Hello everyone and welcome to Taste Test with Mike. I hope everybody's doing good today. Um, I guess y'all, let's see, it's been a, quite a while since I did one of the ones with tuna and I've got quite a few I want to do over time. You know, I don't want to do one like every day or anything like that, but I'm trying to, you know, alternate different types of things that I try. And, um, you know, I'm trying to lose a little weight. I've lost, well, I gained one pound back, but I lost eight pounds. Um, but I don't know, it's probably just water weight, you know. Uh, but anyway, I've about eight pounds so far. And uh, that's just from walking. And basically, I almost, like I mentioned a lot of times, I usually skip lunch. But something like this today would be just enough, you know, I could have this and it would be healthy, you know. And not, not so many calories. And, um, you know, I don't have to just be hungry or whatever but I, I am trying to skip lunch or if i if i do have something for lunch i'm going to try to make it something you know that's not a lot of it for one thing and uh you know healthy um and i'm going to definitely try to walk more uh hopefully it's going to stay warm or you know uh, i can stand you know 40 or even maybe upper 30s or something like that but if it's windy with that stuff it just gets really cold out there to walk but i'm still going to do it i'm still going to walk as much as i can so anyway this one today is uh bumblebee wild caught tuna it's seasoned with sun-dried tomato and basil which is one of my favorite like pasta sauces uh, or you know some kind of t uh like tomato soup i love tomato and basil soup and stuff like that. I just like basil, uh, you know. I've grown a lot of basil uh, in my little arrow garden. I've got a whole uh, gallon storage bag full of it, you know. And it's so much better if you can grow your own herbs. There's, they, they so much more, um, uh, they smell better. You know, I don't know what the word exactly I'm looking for is, but you know, if you, what you do is when they're um, dried like that, you want to take them and rub them in between and kind of crunch them up that'll that'll stir up all those scents in it but anyway i could talk about stuff like that for a long time but let's get on with this so we want to look at the uh it says tuna with sun-dried tomatoes and italian seasoning okay uh so anyway if you eat the whole pouch it is 80 calories and that's not bad at all um one percent there's one gram of total fat that's one percent there is half a gram of saturated fat that's three percent uh, no trans fat there's 30 milligrams of cholesterol it's 10 percent uh 340 milligrams of sodium's 15 percent that's much less than let's say a lean cuisine meal even or even just like a healthy choice meal or anything like that would have more, uh, they would have more salt, but they would still have less than like a Michelinas or something, uh, a cheaper line, you know, uh, like those from Dollar Tree, those Michelina ones, they got a lot of sodium. So 15% is not really bad. Um, one, uh, it's got two grams of carbs, so it's super low carb, uh, 1%, um, no fiber. Two grams of sugar and two grams of added sugars is only 4%. And it's got 15 grams of protein. Wow. 27%. Uh, vitamin D, 6%. It's got some vitamins and stuff, too. Uh, iron, 4%. Niacin, 70%. Vitamin B12, 80%. Now, that's what I need to be getting my B12 from. Instead of, uh, like, a tablet or something. Because... Uh, in my case, with Crohn's disease, I don't um, absorb, like, pills and stuff as good. And um, any time I can get it from a food source, it's much better for me because it'll be absorbed. And the same way, that's why I started eating the grits uh, almost every morning because they have, like, 70 or, what is it, percentage right here? It is right here. Uh... Let's draw so you from where's the iron? It's 60% if you just eat one 
serving of uh, instant grits or, or grits. I think regular grits that you cook have a lot in it too. You'd have to check the label. Um, but 80%, that's great on B12. I, I haven't seen anything with that much B12 in it, uh, you know, besides a, 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 su a supplement. Uh, it's got 10 milligrams of calcium. That doesn't say a percentage though. It's got 4% of potassium, 10% of B6, and 50% of selenium. So these are just really, really great for you. And I'm, I'm just looking kind of through the um, uh, ingredients. I like to see uh, words that you can understand uh, in the ingredients. And uh, it just says tuna water, sun-dried tomatoes, sugar, Distilled vinegar, seasoning, garlic powder, salt, tomato powder, maltodextrin, spices, sugar, paprika, onion powder, green bell pepper powder. Hmm, how do you, I've never heard of that before. Uh, natural flavors, citric acid, extractive of paprika, modified cornstarch, salt, garlic, tomato paste, natural flavors, yeast extract. I wonder what they would need that in there for. Uh, it's not that it's bad. Uh, dried basil. And of course it's got, well, tuna was the very first one. But see, that's all like natural, you know, type stuff. Not not a bunch of chemicals and uh, stuff that you can't understand, you know, what, what it is or what, what, what even how to pronounce it sometimes. So I'm gonna try this open. Okay, let's see. I don't know if you'll, let me get it kind of from being stuck together. Maybe you can tell something about it a little better. I can see, uh, I don't think you can really see it very good in there. But I can see little pieces of um, tomato. Mmm. Mm-hmm. To me, it, it really doesn't taste like tuna. I taste uh, tomato and, and basil. I'm tasting some other kind of seasoning in there. What did it say else? Pepper, um, some other kind of seasoning. Uh, vinegar. Hi, Kitty. No, this is, she smells the tuna. Hold on, everybody. Let me fix her something. I'll be right back so she won't be. Well, I can tell you it's Kitty approved. She's over there eating some. I know she loves basil. Because when I grow it, she'll eat it, either dry or, uh, you know, when it's still uh, fresh. She loves basil. And I don't know what she thinks about tomato, but she's, I gave her a little bit of it. It won't hurt her to have a little bit. Um, I wouldn't recommend giving your cat regular, uh, regular tuna, though, pouches. Because that's, you know, for humans. And um, it could have more mercury in it than they would allow in the ones that they make for cats. Um, so they they process it, I guess, totally different, you know, for cats. But um, not that there's an, enough to hurt a human, but they're so small, you know, it might, if they ate it every day or something, it might build up, who knows. But I won't, I won't give her regular tuna. I give her the ones like those fancy feast appetizers with the scallop topper, they have shrimp topper and, uh, some, and re the regular tuna one but uh she's you just see her back in but she's eating that so uh she likes it she smelled it you know they can smell really good and they got, I mean, got a good sense of smell and she she smelled that as soon as i opened it you know as she she was up here but uh i thought you know i was going to give her something of hers but i thought you know it wouldn't hurt to give her i didn't give her much more than like that right there it's a treat for, you know. Um, 
I really like this. If you don't like um, tuna taste, I really can't. It's really hard to distinguish if it's tuna or it just tastes good. Like what it's supposed to, tuna, uh, tomato and basil. But it doesn't have a fishy taste at all. Uh, you know, even plain tuna, the taste of it does isn't very offensive to me. But a lot of people just don't like, you know, if it has any kind of a fishy, you know. And, and that's why I like these um, flavored pouches. Um, the barbecue ones are my favorite, or the hickory. And the plain ones, I put my own barbecue sauce. Be careful and don't put a whole lot, though. Because it has sugar in it barbecue sauce and you really don't need much in a pouch did you finish are you looking up here now <laughs> i think she wants some more of it uh okay i i really uh these are these are perfect uh, if you're trying to lose some weight this is plenty for me especially if i'm able to skip lunch but this way I have something nutritious and good for me and really not that many calories. So that might make me less hungry at night as well. And I won't be, you know, I'm, I'm eating smaller portions also. I don't know if I, I mentioned that, but I'm eating smaller portions. I don't need to sit there and eat until I'm stuffed or just try to eat everything on my plate. Um, I, I need to eat till I'm not hungry anymore instead of eating until I'm full. If that does that make sense to y'all? I'm trying to eat until I'm just not hungry, but I don't want to get to where I feel bloated or or super full. And I obviously, you know, as long as you're not hungry, um, you know, that's enough for me anyway. But anyway, uh, I really, I mean, I give it a five out of five for nutrition facts. Um, these are some of the best nutrition facts in all these um, vitamins. Just a minute. Maybe I'll give you a little bit more. Um, so I'll give it a 5 out of 5, and I really like the flavor of it. Um, I will give that as well a 5 out of 5. It has a great taste. Wait a minute, kitty. It has a great taste. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> taste test with Mike. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that. Where did it go? Oh, kitty, you're on it. Hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day from me and kitty. Uh, we'll see you next time on Taste Test with Mike. Bye, everyone, and God bless. We'll give you some more. <laughs> Bye, everyone.